Hey guys, so it's another uh, Bold Lips for Old Chicks Day and I have got the NYX Lip Lingerie XXL, okay? Um, funnily enough, I have never tried any of the NYX Lip Lingeries, so we're going to try it right now. It is in the shade Stayin' Juicy. It is a beautiful, is that fuchsia? Y'all tell me, like a raspberry color maybe? All right, let's do it. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do it Get Ready With Me style. And my lips are already dry, so I'm gonna moisturize those. This is the Jelly Jam Lip Mask from AOA Studio, the Shop Miss A website. Now, I have got on a skin tint today. So, um, I am probably going to use a powder foundation over top um, just to give myself a little bit more coverage before I try on this um, um, lip because A, the skin tint is a little bit on the orangey side and so we're going to try and counteract that with a little bit of a yellowy, more yellowy powder and this is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation in the shade Fair 140W so it is <laughs> markedly yellow. It looks a little bit more yellow in my viewfinder right now, but I'm going to use a very big fluffy brush so it's not too much product delivered to the skin. Um, and of all the powder foundations that came out, this one, I think, I feel like is the glowiest that I tried of them all. Um, even though like as I'm putting it on, you're gonna be like, well, but Holly, it's kind of mattifying, isn't it? Isn't it matting down? Weird, weird lighting on that forehead. And it is, but it's also leaving sort of a natural glow intact. And I've used this powder, I've got a review on it if you're interested, but I used the powder alone, completely alone, with maybe some sort of non-glowy primer underneath and it does sort of just leave you with that glow so it's kind of nice it's not just chalky flat matte you know leach all the moisture from your skin matte if you're looking for a powder foundation okay so i have got this shade today so i'm gonna look for a blush that will complement and should i do this one it might clash a little bit with my shirt yeah i'm going to use this blush this is the makeup revolution Baked Blusher in Bang Bang, You're Dead. Who thinks up names for these products? I do not know, but it's like, can't you just say like raspberry? <laughs> so someone's like, oh, it probably has a bit of a raspberry color to it. Whereas when you're thinking Bang Bang, You're Dead, you're like, that doesn't sound nice. Okay, so that one is like, there's a little bit of color, but I feel like that's almost like a blush topper type, you know? Um, Cause I'm getting like a lot of like the reflection, you can see that raspberry tone, but like if you just look straight on without the reflection, it's not as pigmented, I guess, or at least it's, the color's not coming off as much. So, all right, so we did the blush. Let's go ahead and do some brows. And this is the She Glam Skinny Brow Pencil. I don't know the shade, but it's sort of like a very ashy dark brown. Almost totally gray, but it still, it still has that um, taupey brownness to it, but it's very cool toned. And I don't think I'm gonna put any eyeshadow on at all. I think I'm gonna let my pigmentation do the talking and I'm going to use, hmm, I've got so many mascaras to try. I did use this recently, but I also did kind of like it. So I'm gonna use this again. This is the 5D Whip Lift uh, Mascara from Revolution. All right, this mascara almost has sort of a tubing aspect to it very smudge resistant and making my lashes look very fluffy and bushy which is what i like so yeah all right so i've got the color stain juicy let's just see okay all right so the doe foot is sort of 
I don't know, curved. And you guys, let me know. It says matte liquid lipstick. Let me know in the comments if you know what the difference is between lip lingerie and lip lingerie XXL, if there is a difference. There we go. Hmm. Smells good. Oh, okay. Oh, it's got a bit more purple in it than I was hoping for. Mmm. It feels very gel-like, very nice on my lips. I'm not loving the shade. I was hoping for it to be a bit pinkier. Okay, one thing I will say is that I do love this formula. Um, lip line's a little uneven there. Um, it feels so comfortable on my lips and like putting it on, it's just so smooth and uh, just very, it's just really nice. Um, it feels like it's trying to dry down, not dry all the way yet. Okay, so it's taking a while to dry down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to blot and we'll see how transfer proof it is. Okay. Um, yeah, it's very sticky still, so I'm not loving that at this point. Like, I like that it's drying down more matte because I, if I'm gonna do a bold lip, I want it to be like absorb all the light and matte. Um, so I like that better. Um, yeah, I'm even liking the shade better now that it's more matte. Um, but I just think these more on the purple side just don't work well for me specifically. But I mean, and like every time I'm talking, I'm getting some of that string, like gloss sticking or product sticking to product and it's sort of giving me like a an attachment there. It's not cute. Like nobody wants to see that when you're out in the in the world talking and stuff. Um, so yeah, I like the shade now more than it, now that it's more matte. It's finally feeling like it's almost completely dried down. Let's do another blot. Not 100% transfer proof. There's still a little bit coming up, but I think probably for all intents and purposes, it's probably pretty transfer proof. Um, yeah, that, that's the one thing I don't like about this formula is the dry down time is a little bit long. Um, I feel like I personally would rather have either the Ulta Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, this one was $10. I do want to say though, like this is pretty, like this is like now we're nitpicking, you know what I'm saying? Like the Wet n Wild ones, they can do no wrong. Those are great for if you're just looking for, even for shades, like they've got good shades, inexpensive, dry down time is quick. Um, just really nice, good formula. They're, those can do no wrong. But if we start nitpicking, I feel like I like the Ulta one a little bit better. This one was $10. I can't remember how much the Ulta one was. Um, you get probably more, it looks like you get more product in this. It's 0.13 fluid ounces and this is, oh, it's all smoke and mirrors. This one actually has more in it than this one. 0 0.15, 0 0.13. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I think if you're like, if you're looking through these and you're like, I must have that shade, I don't think that you'll hate it. Just be aware it's gonna take a little while to dry down and you might wanna just blot it and then get any excess off and that will help to dry down a little bit faster. Um, but again, my nitpicky self is like, I still like the Ulta ones better. But I don't think that if you get a certain shade that you're dying for, that you will hate this if you get it. Feels good on the lips. It's starting to feel really dry right now, but not any more than any other liquid lipstick. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, put in the comments what you think about this shade. This is the shade again. It is staying Juicy. Um, not one of my best shades for me. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you guys next time.